A world-first device that will help save the lives of patients undergoing heart surgery has been invented by three Melbourne doctors. During surgery, there's a high risk of amputation because blood to the lower body is cut off. Almost a year after suffering a severe viral infection in her heart, 31-year-old Carly Yakels is still recovering. I'm just relearning how to walk. During heart surgery, a cannula placed into the femoral artery restricts blood flow downwards, meaning the lower limbs are starved of vital blood and oxygen, increasing the risk of nerve damage, even amputation. They needed to cut into my legs to uh, relieve the pressure. So my family did have a choice between amputating or making the incisions. The patient's life's been saved, but it's significant cost for the patient. Three Melbourne doctors have spent five years inventing a device that allows blood to flow in both directions. There aren't too many inventions that are designed in Australia, developed in Australia. 25 to 40 per cent of all patients on a heart-lung machine using a cannula are at risk of amputation. This device could reverse those figures, with hospitals from around the world already putting in their orders. Clinical trials at the Alfred Hospital have gone so well, the device will be on the market next year. It's hoped patients will never have to go through what Carly has had to. My first physio told me that she thinks I'd be able to run within two years, so I'm hoping to beat that. Georgia Main, 7 News.